to find the mirror image of an object, for example the tip uh, of this arrow, uh, we need to draw at least two rays. So we can draw two random rays that go to the mirror. For example, I can draw this one here. And say this one here. For each of those rays, we need to find the reflected ray. So what we need to do is we need to find the incoming and the outgoing angle. So here I have an incoming angle with the surface of about 51 degrees. So my outgoing angle should also be around 51 degrees. It's here. And I'm repeating the same tone for my ray on the top. Sixty-five-ish degrees. Sixty-five-ish degrees is here. Now to find the object, or the image of the object, all I need to do is to backtrace those two rays and see where it intersect. Now, for somebody that is looking from the left side of the mirror, it appears as these two rays will be coming from uh, one location, which is the location of the tip of our arrow. To find the whole arrow, I need to repeat the procedure for the bottom of it. So I'm going to take another color here, and do the same thing. So one of the easiest rays that you could draw is the one that's perpendicular. So now that one will just reflect right off. So if I backtrack it will appear like this like came somewhere from there. Now another one. Measure my angle. Sixty-six. So I found where the bottom of my arrow is, so I know my whole image must be around here. Note that I have measured the angles from the surface of the mirror, but I might as well, as well have measured them from the normal to the mirror. According to the law of reflection, if I draw the normal, My incoming angle is always equal to the reflected angle. 